So, so can you tell people what's happening right now? Why you're on the side of the bridge? Um, at this point, uh, four, well, several of us uh, crossed, the, jumped the fence or got ourselves inside the other side of the fence to stop the bulldozer. We felt that our bodies were going to stop the bulldozer from continuing to tear down. Why is, why is that necessary? Why is what necessary? To, to stop the bulldozers and put yourself at risk. For so many years, through the rules and laws of the city, personally, as well as through my work at the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center, as well as my association with the coalition, the Westside Preservation Alliance, and with the Conservation Society, and with the folks on the east side with Hay Street Bridge, we have asked, demanded to save our history and our culture, and to say no to the development that always seems to take preference over our history and our culture. And we've done it over and over and over and over again. We don't want to have anyone injured because we're now in a life safety uh, situation. We're going to proceed with demolition. We have a truck here to control the dust. Uh, Y'all are trespassing on Graystar's property. And you do understand that our concern is the community's health and that there's we understand possibly that. contaminated dust flying around in the community there is and no, people are inhaling this into their lungs. There is no contaminated dust that will be going around in the community and if all of you would step away from the fence, there would be no chance that there will be any dust even touching you. There was dust flying around when we got here earlier and that's why people were concerned. You're trespassing on Gray Star's land. Uh, we have a valid demolition permit. You had your day in court today. Judge Littlejohn denied your application for temporary injunction and dissolved the temporary restraining order. But you also I'm, told Chief McManus that you were going to provide paperwork on the air conditioning Mr. units. I'm asking you to have all of the people move away from the fence and to move away from the inside of the property. We don't want to have anybody arrested. That is the last thing we want. But we're going to proceed with demolition and for nothing, right? We just aren't being heard. We're being ignored. It seems like the city writes up its policies, has something called a UDC, Unified Development Code, has uh, entities called the Office of Historic Preservation and the Historic Design and Review Committee has things called zoning commissions, has all these commissions, and we follow the rules, and we keep on being told that we're wrong. So they produced paperwork saying that there's no asbestos in the building. However, he told Chief McManus that he was going to give us paperwork saying that they had captured the Freon. He's verbally saying they captured the Freon, but he's not producing any paperwork. Where's the paperwork? This is the asbestos paperwork? No, where's the Freon paperwork? He said he doesn't have it. Well, when will we get it? And he told Chief McManus that he was going to bring it. Well, you know, the, the property has been abated, all the asbest asbestos is gone. Anything that needs to be removed has been removed from the building. So this is a normal demolition project now where you have an older building that's being demolished by a demolition contractor, and we have the appropriate permit to do that. When Can was, when was the permit? Freon actually taken out? Because when I was here last Tuesday, they were actually pulling off the, uh, the air conditioning units on top of the building, and it was actually the, the, the units were exploding. So when was the Freon actually taken out of there? I wasn't here, so I don't know the answer to that. It's my understanding that all the Freon's been removed. Okay, thank you, Albert. What's left to save? There's, there's a lot still to be saved. We're making history right now about saving our history. You being present acknowledges that. Um, and, and then there's other history that we haven't even talked about, which is the antiquities below. Those are the acequia, there are the indigenous ruins of our antepasados. There's a lot more because they are in violation of not only city standards, statewide standards, but national standards around EPA, TCEQ, and Susana is better versed in it, but we have not received what we've been asking for. And that's when we will stop, we will put our bodies there. I understand, ma'am. Uh, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Captain Mazik, Central Service Area. In a moment, I'm gonna have the representative of the company here give you a criminal trespass warning. 
We'll give you a few minutes. I'd like to speak to you. We'll figure out what you want to do, what plan of action you want to do. We want a citizen's yeah. arrest Come against on. the developers of Graystar. We want a Good. citizen's Ma arrest. Give you a chance to speak, please. Not. My name is David Kinder and I represent Graystar. We have a valid demolition permit to demolish this building. You had your day in court today. Judge Little John denied your application for temporary injunction and dissolved the temporary restraining order that was in place. You are currently trespassing on the property owned by Graystar. And you are demolishing this building may, with a lot of may, problems. May, may I finish, please? No, I'm not uh, the We are little requesting time. that you. Remove yourselves from the property. We do not want to have you arrested. That is the last thing that we want to do. We are going to start demolition on this building, and that will expose you to a life safety hazard. Uh, right, and so yeah, that y'all should have been protecting. The equipment will be demolishing the building, so we're asking you to leave. The only thing I can determine is if you want to be arrested, because we've asked you to leave, and we have no choice because we're going to continue with construction. Will you leave? You know, I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes to leave, okay, and then you're going to force her a hand. Yeah, so everybody make any knows in 10 that minutes, there is a right to dissent. Yeah. Why there did y'all arrest them for doing illegal stuff, too? dissent in this country, and we are dissenting. Yeah. We're, we're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, then we're going to have to arrest you for criminal trespass. Are you going to arrest them, too? Who? Who's that? The yeah. developers and they, the demolitors? They haven't yeah. given us all their paperwork. They, yeah. Okay, well. And the, they didn't and fulfill your, their part of the bargain. Your boss mm -hmm. sat here and talked to our folks and agreed uh, that he was yeah, going to... I was here when Sergeant Sandoval wasn't for that. At this point, we're, where we have to arrest you. There's a lot of ways this can go. We don't want to hurt you. We don't want any officers getting hurt. There's lots of dangerous stuff around here. Um, I don't want to handcuff everybody. We don't have to. Normally handcuff everybody. I understand why you're here. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we should be cuffed. I, I okay. think well, so. Well, let's move over here. And let's do it over here. up a little bit. It's not this particular, it's all our history. We are tired that over and over and over again, year in and year out, we come up against the city on all these issues and we continue to be ignored.